It's a massive project along I-94 in downtown Detroit, and tonight we're learning just how much it will impact traffic. Pamela Osborne live along the freeway tonight with the timeline that MDOT just released, Pam. Yeah, so we are standing where that bridge is going to be installed in about a month from now. And I know what you're thinking. You're looking and thinking there's a hole here about the size of a football field. How is this possibly ready to be installed? Well, look a little bit further over there. You'll see the bridge is already on site, nearly complete. This is what's coming to 2nd Avenue in the city of Detroit at 5 million pounds and 245 feet long. You're looking at the first of its kind tied arch bridge in the entire state. It'll be rolled out from the staging area near Wayne State's campus to I-94 soon. Here's where the closures come in. The bridge is expected to slide into place starting Sunday, July 10th. But in order for that to happen, the eastbound and westbound lanes of 94 will have to close between 75 and the lodge. The first closure will last seven days and will be followed by a second five day closure. The bridge boasts plenty enough room for everyone. Drivers will have one lane in each direction. Pedestrians and bikers will have their own eight and nine foot lanes as well. And once opened, it will connect neighborhoods to the north and south of Second Avenue. So as you can see, what we're talking about is quite an upgrade from the original bridge that was built here in 1954. There will be posted detours for drivers and next Thursday on the 16th, MDOT's going to be holding a virtual session for people to get more information about this pretty unique project as well as ways to get around it. Reporting live tonight, I'm Pamela Osborne. Local four. Yeah, it really is. And I think people are going to who are envisioning this going to have to wait to see the final product with it in place to really get the full picture of this. Yeah. Thanks, Pam. You're right.